tea tree oil is really great for um, an, an antibacterial oil. So it's a great first aid ointment and stuff like that. It's also a really great oil to help kill fungus or things that grow because of fungus. So if you can think of anything on the body that might grow because of that. So we, all, we already know that dandruff is a fungus on the scalp and that's why tea tree oil you will see in shampoo sometimes. So you can use this, instead of buying an expensive shampoo, you can use this. And how we can use it, and we can add it right to our shampoo, or while our shampoo is in our hair, we can put a couple of drops on our fingertips and just massage it on our head, right? Um, so use it in your shower, make sure to close your eyes. Uh, we think of the feet also is a place where fungus grows a lot. So um, a lot of people who are in sports, can get the athlete's foot. You can also have toenail fungus that is so difficult to, to get rid of and the medications for that do so much damage to the liver and it's just not a good option. So if you're patient and you use this melaleuca or tea tree and just drop a drop under the toenail and just do that every day, twice a day. So when we're talking about trying to get rid of something like this in our body, it's going to take a while you have to be consistent and when we talk about using it it's once in the morning and once at night okay so if i have athlete's foot and i want to get rid of that i'm going to use one drop rub on the bottom of my feet in the morning and one drop at night um talked about toenail fungus when you wash your hair for dandruff so these this is really great for things like that this is also a great oil that you can put internally and because it doesn't taste that great, a lot of times these three oils we put in an empty capsule and just swallow with a glass of water. So um, Melaleuca can help get rid of things that are growing in the body also. So when I take Melaleuca in a capsule, I usually will add oregano and lemon. And remember when you're taking it, I always use fewer drops is better please do not think that more drops are better with oils, uh, with essential oils, because remember they're detoxing the body and um, you don't want all that stuff coming out in your body system at, at once. And if you take a lot of oils, that it can make you feel not very good in your tummy. So when I'm taking these oils, I will do two or three drops is all of each oil in a capsule and take it. Make sure that you drink a lot of water during that time. Anything? Really good. You want to add that that melaleuca is also great to put behind your ear if you have some yeah, discomfort. So, so remember, it's an antibacterial oil. So any kind of infection going on. So if your little kids get these earaches, this is a great oil that you can put just on the bone behind the ear. We never want to drop it inside of the ear. If you're a person that thinks that you need to put it in there, put it. Just drop it on a piece of cotton and put the cotton in your ear. Do not ever put oil down inside your ear. Um, so yes, that's a great um, way to use it. Also infections that could be in the bladder or different areas of the body. Remember, a great way to apply it topically is to get it as close to the problem as what you can and rub it. So I'm gonna put one or two drops. I'm not gonna use more than that. And use it a couple times a day. And you should find relief pretty quickly with that. Um, if, if you are experiencing a painful infection, you can use these oils more um, a day, but just, just know that you cannot overdose on an oil. The reason why I say be consistent using morning and night is because a lot of people just forget, you know, they, because their foot isn't bothering them, they don't remember to put the oil on. But when you have an infection and there's pain involved, you can use those oils more often. And sometimes you need to in the beginning just to help it get started quicker in healing. So, thank you, Dan.